have mixed... I, I swing on this all the time. My thing is, years ago, I used to smoke spliff and I thought it was the coolest thing on the planet. And I thought... And I was one of those, oh, yeah, when I have kids, um, yeah, if they want to sm smoke spliff, that'll be fine. So what? You know, it's just... It's natural. Like, you hear young people, it's natural. It's just grown. It's like nothing. Well, I have changed my mind completely. I, so many people in my life have been completely... Their lives and their families' lives devastated yeah, yeah. just by smoking skunk. I've got one friend who killed themselves. I've got another that is now a paranoid schizophrenic from... And he never tried, he never tried any other drugs except spliff. Mm -hmm. and, the cannabis you're talking about. Well, actually, his was hash and then skunk. Now, skunk, which so many of our young people... Because I talk to my children, my step... I talk to everybody, uh, young people, mm. that are in my house that come to us. I talk to them about drugs. I don't believe in, in it being like a, you know, a taboo yeah. subject. Because I want to know what's going on. An adult just saying, just yeah. say no, doesn't yeah. have any impact. Doesn't, no, does it doesn't it? have any impact. No. And the thing is, what so many young people don't realise is that a skunk spliff... And, and somebody actually from the Priory explained this to me. One skunk spliff is... The equivalent to 20 spliffs that would have been smoked in the yeah. 70s. It is a hot, really powerful drug, yeah. and people are just losing their young lives to it. How many kids do we know that sit in their bedroom playing music eight, nine, ten hours through the night, sleep all day because of skunk? Now the problem. So, what, so I'll get to my point. Sorry, I'm over talking, but it's because I feel so passionate about this. I, on the one hand, I, I I want it. I want I want this business to be. Emptier, so you haven't got the users, so you can get so you can get the the mm -hmm. pushers in for a longer amount of time. But I'm also really fearful if we completely decriminalise it. These children that really believe that yeah. smoke spliff is not, there's no problem yeah. with it. Will they think yeah. that even more so? But they do it now, don't I, they? So it makes no I difference. The law. I mean, it, it's. I mean, I totally agree with you so much about the whole split uh, spliff skunk thing. Um, any mother, I think, who's uh, seen their children grow up um, mm. in a city. Uh, a big city and go through school and everything is frighteningly aware of, mm. of what goes on. I mean, I too know people who've had nervous breakdowns, young people who've, uh, who are uh, in uh, psychiatric hospitals and uh, I too, like you know, of one suicide. And mm. it was all down to, not heroin, it was down yeah. to skunk, yeah. all of it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. what we do about that, I just don't. And yet this is, this is a, obviously a, a, a version of the drug that is is basically seen as maybe not necessarily a safe drug, but a soft drug. Well, there's, because a, in the, there's a young boy. Sorry, I'm so furious about. There's a young guy in the paper today. So, there's a photograph of him holding a great big piece yes. of skunk like this, smiling into the camera with the thousands of pounds held out, fanned out like this in his hand. Mm. He got ten months. Mm. He got ten months in prison, and he's I don't know whether that's on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, where, where he'd posted these photographs of himself. And you think, well, what about if he really did get 10 years? Yeah. Would he still But actually, sell? what you want Would he is still to, be you want so to change the mindset so that when kids see pictures of somebody like him, they go, what a prat. Yeah. 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 What a prat. Yeah.